first dinner in Calgary. Good morning, guys. It is September 26th. Super dark right now because I just realized I completely forgot to bring the vlog camera. I totally packed the vlog camera into our car before we dropped it off at Peter's uncle's house. Um, and then I just forgot to take it from the car after he dropped us off at the airport. So I'm gonna be vlogging the rest of this trip, well, the entire trip vlog on my phone because I have zero vlog footage on baby cam. That's why you're seeing super blurry footage right now because it is 6 a.m. in Calgary and we're headed out to drive up to Banff to go to Lake Louise. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that there's still parking space in the parking lot because I fill up at 7 a.m. Um, and then if you don't get a space, then you have to drive quite far out and take a shuttle back in where the park rangers will like direct you to and that's not gonna be great in case we need to go back to the car to like grab things it's just more efficient um so we'll have to pack everything to our bags but i feel like because it's back to school maybe a lot of parents are going to be there we'll see so we're taking the trip out right now it's estimating like two hours 8 15 for us to get there we have snacks in the car i'm gonna do my makeup in the car well the rest of my makeup i already put my foundation on and then yeah i'll I'll check in with you guys maybe part way through on the journey up there and then once we get there we made it to the first stop of the day which Ooh. is Lake Louise and thankfully enough there's parking. I was actually so worried because on the drive up you pass Moraine Lake first and that parking lot was completely full so I was like oh lord we are not gonna get any parking at Lake Louise but we did so Don't it's worry. great. We got this. <laughs> we just paid for it. We're heading up um, to the front of the Fairmont to go check it out and to grab some pics. It looked really pretty from like the partial drive over, so I'm excited to see the rest of it in person with the blue waters. We've made it. This is like Louise. Finally seeing it in person. How do you feel? It's like almost not real. It's not fake. It's so blue. The photo? Nah, you're too close. <laughs> we uh, finished grabbing our photos and now we're gonna attempt the lakeshore hike. It's about like an hour long max in minimum elevation, which is exactly what I need for my belly to not hurt and for the baby to not punch me in the groin essentially. I was gonna say the baby's name for a second. No, and I no, remember no. we haven't revealed the just gender baby. yet. So See just the baby. Like, yeah. Baby, baby. So that baby doesn't punch me in the groin as we're walking around because it's been doing it a lot lately when I'm upright. So it's a nice, easy walk for us. Um, well, for me at least. It's about like an hour long, zero elevation. It's gonna be great. And we're off. Okay, so we finished up at Lake Louise. We popped into this little area, it's a visitor center right outside, it's like less than a five minute drive away to grab some lunch. I got a sandwich from this place called Trailhead Cafe. Oh, THC. We went straight to THC for lunch. <laughs> I got a hot chocolate because I've been craving some hot chocolate. It's chilly here. It's getting that time of year where I literally just like suck down hot chocolate. I do wish there was Tim Hortons here because their hot chocolate are my favorite. Really? Have you not seen how many Tim Hortons hot chocolate containers I go through annually? Yeah, it's unhealthy. Like two to three every like it's fall, winter, unhealthy. spring season. You look like a kid on sugar. I literally am like a kid yeah. on sugar. It's nasty. But it is a shame that there's no Tim Hortons here because... We'll find one. Well, I mean like right up here. Anyways, we're going to eat our lunches right now. The goal is to go to Moraine Lake. Well, actually the original goal was to go there, but we couldn't get a shuttle on time. And it was like a two hour delay in between finishing like Louise and going over to Moraine Lake. So we're like, screw it. We're gonna go to Johnston Canyon first and then Bow Valley, Bow Valley Parkway. Valley Parkway, yes. And then come back tomorrow for Moraine Lake before we go take the gondola ride in the afternoon. Woo! So reconfigure, good thing everything's in like 
rough vicinity of each other which makes it really easy for us to get to and yeah so that's the plan today so we go munch munch and then we'll go explore Johnson Canyon after this Ooh, how do I eat this <gasps> this is huge it's like mac and cheese with ooh, pulled pork <laughs> actually looks so good yeah Love I thought it. it was gonna be messier it's actually kept together pretty well it looks like mm-hmm Mmm, we're gonna like this. Need some greens? Mm -hmm. I got a Canadian club, not nearly as enticing. Are we choosing? Mm. Oh, okay. We have made it to Johnson Canyon. We're gonna go see the canyon and then do a little short trail here before we head back to Bow Valley Parkway to explore the rest of the drive and do a couple more hikes. Second trail of the day. Water in the background. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. We're waiting for a turn to get into the cave. Water here is so blue. And then uh, we're currently lined up to go into the caves. It was like at least a half hour lineup that we've been waiting in now, but we'll head inside and I'll show you what it looks like in there. Dun, 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 dun. What? Winnie. Right, it's a slight change of plans. We went into Han Korea and there's a bit of like a wait list, so we put our name down. And there's two groups of people ahead of us, so we figured we actually want to buy a Stanley thermos while we're here so we can uh, fill it up with coffee and hot chocolate tomorrow. So we just popped into a Walmart that's like a five minute drive away to go pick it up because I saw that they had it in stock. And then we're gonna head back and get dinner, but yay for efficiency! <laughs> Favorite. We've secured the goods, not Hell for camping, yeah. but for hiking through Bam. Hey man, that's all it is. It is what it is. Thing? Coffee, McDonald's. What? Wait, can you get McDonald's to fill this up? No. Do they do that? Hell no. Only mugs? It was COVID. Okay, well I tried. I tried. <laughs> what did you decide to eat? Uh, that's both I thought you said you didn't want to order that stuff since we can make it now at home. 5A? Oh, that's bulgogi. I thought you said topoki. No, man. So Peter's gonna get this. I'm gonna see if they have this available because last time we ate the bibim naengmyeon in LA and I really liked it, but it was really spicy. So I'm gonna see if I can get this with a beef broth because that sounds delicious. I forget what these are called. Rosa, if you're watching this, uh, let me know. But whenever you come to Korean restaurants, usually they give you like all these apps to start with. And this is a nice, healthy selection. They also have seaweed salad, which I usually don't get in Toronto. But this is nice. Although I don't see the, um, the sweet tofu stuff, which I do like that one. They're called side dishes. Well, it's side dishes, but there is a proper name for these. Yeah, side dishes. No, in Korean. We're gonna dig it now. Food is all here. I just realized all these side dishes and the rice are actually part of Peter's dish which I've been eating, but you said it was okay. You said it was okay, so I don't feel bad. <laughs> so he ordered some sort of chicken bulgogi with a sweet soy sauce, I think, a marinade. Something like that. Something like that, and then with rice, and then I had bibin nang yang. If any of you guys are Korean and you watch this, please don't kill me. It's just like a cold noodle, and there's a little bit of chili paste on this side. It's just so that I got like a split half-half of the regular half cold noodle and the half of the chili paste so it wouldn't be too spicy for me and it looks delicious. <laughs> You got half an inch off the ground.
We've made it to the top of the hike. I'm very impressed with myself that I actually managed to climb it that high. I am too. It's really wet today, as you can see. It's pouring right now, but we're at the top. Um, when you get to the parking lot, there's a trail turning left. Take the trail. A rock pile. It's, yeah, the rock pile, and then you'll end up getting to the top here, where you get this you like, really nice little view of Moraine Lake. It's not a bad hike, even for somebody pregnant 30 months, 30 weeks like me. I'm not, well, imagine 30, 30 months. months, that'd be bad. Um, I managed to make it, there's really well-defined steps, so it's easy to climb up. We made it, so we're gonna try to grab some photos really quickly, do the really quick like short hike, and then zip over to a gondola ride, because I'm not trying to get wet today. You are. I'm just hiding right now. You are. Okay, so we're back from our little photo sesh at the top of Moraine Lake. Um, it started raining a lot, so we're hiding out in the car now. Woo, hiding. To get some warmth, we have the heaters on, and we're gonna test out our new mom and dad status, Stanley Thermos. We just acquired this yesterday um, at Walmart, and we're gonna test it out and see if this kept our coffee warm. We put in three Instant Nescafe tube thingies in here this morning. Sweet and creamies. So good. And we used the, was the Keurig machine to brew this? Yes, the because the water. hotel did not provide us with a kettle. They didn't have a kettle, I was not pressed. They don't have Keurig machines. Weird. Anyway, so we're gonna test out and see if we were mom and dad's status. We just found out that the logo of the Stanley thing is a bear with wings and a crown. It's so cute. How adorable is that? Okay, so let's let's test this out. Oh, how tight they should put this. Yeah, you gotta make it secure. Oh, I smell it now. It smells like sweet and creamy Nescafe. Delicious! <laughs> oh, you don't get the car, Daddy! Nice. Richard would be so proud right now. He is. We showed him yesterday and he's like, ooh, welcome to Dad Club. Oh, well, you can still see the steam. Nice! Right. You know it's gonna be hilarious? You're gonna complain about how hot it is and how you can't drink it. It's gonna <laughs> right be the most absurd thing in the world. <laughs> but that was the whole purpose of this so that we could have this. Is it hot? Like piping hot? You're not gonna be able to drink it. Are you it's serious? It's hot for you, yeah. Like actually? Like dead serious, yeah. I'm blowing smoke up Stanley's tush. What time do we make this at? Like 5.30? Yeah, 5.30 or 6. It's 9.30 right now. It's been four hours since this has been inside the Stanley Thermos. Oh, that's hot. Yeah, the label said like five days, so. Ew, who leaves in there for five days? You know, what if you're going camp, like, like super camping? No, but this is gonna go bad. Oh, I can feel the heat coming through no, the cup now. No, coffee doesn't go bad. Feel this, feel this. Yeah, you drink black coffee, it doesn't go bad, bro. All right, well, it is proven. The Stanley Thermos has stood the test of time, literally, five hours later. For 108 no, four years. Four hours later. Oh, wow, 108 years. Yeah, 108 yeah. years. This is badass. Um, I'm very happy with my purchase from Walmart for $33. This was a solid investment. 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend. Thanks, Richard. <laughs> we finished our little hike at Moraine Lake, and now we're driving over to the gondola to take it up all the way, I think it's like Mount Rundle or something near downtown Banff. Sun's like slowly coming out, but it's still drizzling rain, so it's not the best. Albeit, everything has so far worked out for the day today so I'm not complaining. I think we might just like chill out in the downtown Banff area for a little bit and either eat some food and watch some squid game as Peter has requested because we're gonna get there about like an hour earlier than before our gondola ride. I think our gondola ride's at like 1.30 and our GPS is estimated that we'll get there like 12.30 or so. That's enough time for one episode. Hello. Well to finish the episode that we started watching. Yeah that's that was like, like 50 sleep. minutes and then Perfect. I'm not complaining. I'm down to watch it. So yeah, that's the plan for this afternoon. And the reason I'm so low is because my seat is fully reclined back so I can lie and relax the belly. It's getting big, very big cold Peter drives. So catch you guys in a little bit. Enjoy the ride up guys. Thank you. You're ready for your gondola ride? Whoa! It's pretty fast. <laughs> is it? Yeah. In a bit, I guess. Oh, I see when it goes up like that. Yeah, that thing took off like a roller coaster, man. That wasn't right. <laughs> I don't trust. Taking the view, vlog. Oh, look at that view. Wow. Yeah, this is nuts. <laughs> yeah, this is nuts, man. Have you been to try the one in Vancouver to see the Sky Gondola? 
that one is like that's a, it's like twice the height of this one. Yeah, it's like uh, a nice like I think like half hour ride. <laughs> no. Really? No. Are you uncomfortable? Yeah. Really? Made it to the top of the summit. You can see behind us. It is so big. That took like what 30 minutes ago? Like 20. 20. 20 to 30. Yeah, that's fun, right? Now to climb back down. Gatno. And Gatno is what? Feel a little bit more comfortable going down than going up. I actually do. Really? I do, yeah. Okay, that's good. Still not like perfectly comfortable. Hi. I'm glad you came up here and got to experience this. Seems like you didn't love it. Time for dinner. Having pho tonight. Finally getting this since I couldn't get this the last time I wanted. Food is here. Always with the moon, right? Recently. And then I got the pho. Cheers to not calling drinks. <laughs> Hot tubbin. You get to reap all the benefits. This is as far as I can go because of the baby. <laughs> but I it's okay. Nice You're not even moving. Close enough. Oh, we're going to So we're at Emerald Lake now. We made it up here. It's a little chilly, but not that chilly. It's like eight degrees. We just did the lakeshore hike and can you stop taking photos as I'm doing this? That was dope, man. We're just chilling on a little bench here, enjoying some coffee from our Stanley Thermos. Very happy that we purchased this floor here. This is a great, great investment. We're gonna hang out here for a bit and then show your viewers what I got. Just Look at the coloring. Oh, why is it rainbow in here? I don't know. That's really weird. It's trippy. It's so trippy. So we're just going to hang out here for a little bit and then go check out some other falls called Hamilton Falls and then probably grab some photos and hang back to the car because it looks like it's going to rain at around 3 o'clock and that's within two hours time. Finished our hike and now time for lunch. Ultimate Canadiana. Haven't had poutine in a while. <laughs> and these fries look good. They kind of look like Costco fries. I'm pretty happy about that. This is our view as we dine. We're sitting right next to Emerald Lake. Oh no, it's stuck. Do you eat poutine, bro? Yeah. Hi! You're so cute! Hi! Okay, maybe we should go. Okay, so we're back from our excursion day out to Emerald Lake. We actually spent a lot of time there, I think like almost four hours or so. And then, as you guys saw afterwards, we went to Lake Minnewanka and we got to see some wildlife! I honestly think that that was like, well, what is the phrase? The cherry on top? Cherry on top of the sundae? Icing on the cake? Yes, icing on the cake. We got to see some little goats, as you guys saw in the previous clip. And then on our way back home, we popped into a place called a White Elephant. It is the most randomest tie joint. Another recommendation from Winnie and um, her fiance's cousins or friends. I can't remember which one. Cousin. Cousins. But it's a Thai spa and it's located in the back of this like hotel called the Airport Travelers Inn. We checked some reviews online and everybody said the food was like really, really good and they're really generous with the portions. So we got the goods. And now I decided that since we have been spending such a long day out, and we've been eating it like almost every night. It'd probably be better if we just brought the food back home and we just ate it here at the hotel while we watch more of Squid Games. That's what we're doing now. This is our cute little setup. <laughs> Not the most glamorous, but very happy with it. You ready to eat your Thai food? Yes, please. So I got Penang curry, and then Peter also got some pad si U, and I also ordered a Thai iced tea. I've never actually seen it like this before. I think you're supposed to like mix it up. Ooh, look at those colors. Oh yes. This makes me happy. So we're gonna watch Squid Game. We're on episode eight right now. And then I think we're going to hot tub again one more time tonight before we go to sleep, right? Is that the plan? Bueno. Mm. Good morning, guys. We're on our very final day here in 
Calgary Banff. A little bit of change of plans. We were gonna go to Kenmore this morning to fly our drone, but then after doing some digging and research, we can't fly our drone in Kenmore. So unfortunately, we're not going to be doing that. So instead, we kind of slept in a little bit. Uh, the original plan was to wake up at like seven to leave for eight so we could drive up there for that. And then we ended up, well, I slept in till like 9.30. Peter slept in until like 8.30ish or so and then got ready and I went to the gym to work out and then we shot a campaign for him and then we got ready and then we just checked out our hotel and now we're heading down to I think downtown Calgary to do a little bit of shopping and then shoot some stuff for a campaign that I have with RW and then we're gonna go back uptown past the airport to Cross Iron Mills kind of like an outlet mall so that Peter can check out the Nike factory uptown outlet. Uptown girl! <laughs> Sorry. It's not karaoke. It <laughs> He's gonna do a little bit of shopping for himself as well before we have to catch our flight. Our flight is at 6 p.m. tonight, so we have quite a bit of time. We have about like four to four and a half hours or so before we have to be at the airport. And since we're flying a domestic, you don't have to do the whole like three hours ahead of time check-in and everything. And since we don't need to have like COVID tests or anything for our domestic flights, Good. So we're gonna head downtown right now to do some shopping and campaign shoots and then we'll see how the rest of the day goes. But yeah, no hotel tour of our room tour because we didn't have time to. We had to check out. We were getting <laughs> close to our checkout time. And also like, I mean it was a cool hotel room but it wasn't like one of my favorite ones so. It was a standard hotel room. It had a bed, a TV. Oh yeah, they uh, had like shower. porno LED lights on the bottom of the bed. Oh, yeah, it was, was so funny. weird. Yeah. It was like strip lights that lit up Especially. different colors all over the base of the bed and you could change the color of it and it just it looks so weird it looked like something like a porno oh, set so there was also a tv in the bathroom that didn't work oh yeah a tv in the bathroom so that you could watch tv in the shower i don't know it's supposed to be a new hotel near the airport uh it looks like it's only been around for like no more than five maybe five years or so but i haven't really seen hotels in like showers in over like 10 years so it's a little bit tvs strange. and showers TVs and showers, but yeah. hotels and showers. Oh yeah, sorry. TVs and showers. But yes, it was it was a nice hotel. I mean, it did its purpose. We're happy. Yep. We had comfy sleeps. The room was very big. And yeah. The room was very big. It was Give it that. Very it was very big compared spacious. to normal hotel rooms. Yeah. Huge compared to all the hotel rooms that we stay in when we're in Europe. Yeah. So there were two tables. That's how big it was. Two desks, yeah. Yeah. Usually there's just one. And a massive lounge chair. Yeah. And a king bed. So yeah. That's essentially the hotel room. Let's head downtown. Did you buy a car? It was nice knowing you. Off to catch a flight. Lego walking through the airport. Airport. The airport's so empty. I've never seen an airport this empty before. So we are now back home. It's been quite a few days since we came back home. I need to get better at ending my vlogs. And as you can see, the quality is probably a little bit better because I'm filming this on my baby cam right now. So anyways, we're back. We had so much fun in Banff. I know that was like a very random vlog. It was just strange because after I realized I forgot baby cam, I just was not in the right headspace to be vlogging properly like I always do when I'm on trips and because it was our baby moon for us to kind of like celebrate the last trip together before our baby arrives um I was spending a lot of the time kind of like more in the moment and just enjoying my time together with Peter of just the two of us together for like the last trip I hope you guys enjoyed watching like a mishmash of footage of our baby moon together and got to explore and see all the different lakes in Banff I hope you guys enjoyed that I had such a memorable trip it was amazing. I've already been to Banff once before, but it was my first time ever going with Peter and it was his first time going there too. So it was actually really nice to be able to introduce him to so many like beautiful places in Banff. And we're definitely going to be coming back in the future again one day and bringing our baby with us once we have our whole family and baby's able to travel. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that little vlog of our trip. Stay tuned. We have a lot more exciting baby news coming up. I can't wait to share the rest with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have an amazing day. Love you guys. Bye.